Thank you, Brenda Work, for sponsoring this video. Okay, as we all know, this right here is our usual definition for our regular factorial. But have you guys ever thought about what if the factorial gets superpower? And also, what if the factorial gets hyper? Oh well, in this video, let me show you guys the definitions for these two factorials, and also show you guys a really cool connection between all these three factorials. So check this out. Here we go. For the super factorial, in fact, we have two definitions for that. Let me demonstrate the first definition right here, and at the end of the video, I'll show you guys another definition, right? So notation for this is that we put down n with a dollar sign next to it. Yeah, dollar sign. Cool, huh? All right, here we go. What we do is we start with n factorial, and then we multiply by n minus 1 factorial, and then we multiply by n minus 2 factorial, and then dot, 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 keep on going until we have the 3 factorial times 2 factorial, and finally we have that 1 factorial, right? So again, this is just one of the definitions, and I will show you guys another definition, and uh, this another person is plof. Yeah, by Salon and Prof. And the other definition is by pick over. That's at the end. And the interesting thing is that both of the definitions were published in 1995. So, yeah. Anyway, for the super factorial, we only have one definition. And the notation is we'll use h of n like this. What we do is we start with n and raise to the nth power. Yes, this is big enough already, but we will have more. What we do next is we have n minus 1 raised to the n minus 1 power, and then we multiply by n minus 2 raised to the n minus 2 power, and so on, so on, so on. 3 to the third power, 2 to the second power, 1 to the first power, like this. So this right here is the hyper factorial. And all this right here, they are just for positive whole number n, right? And have you guys seen any of this? If you guys have, let me know in the comment down below, all right? All right, and the truth is, when you have zero factorial, that's one. When you have zero double fact super factorial, that's also one. And when you have zero hyper factorial, that's also equal to one, all right? That's pretty cool. Now, here we go. I wanted to show you what if we multiply the super factorial and the hyper factorial in this video right here, right? So here we go. Let me start with, an, with the dollar sign for the super factorial, and then I will multiply by h of n, which is a super factorial. So here we go. For the super factorial, notice how we have the n factor right here. So I will use this definition right here first. What we do is we just have n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times da 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 times 3 to 1. So this guy is for the first n factorial. Don't forget though, we still have to have the n minus 1 factorial. So what we have to do is, I will have to multiply, right? So it's following right here, n minus 1 factorial that. So that means n minus 1 times n minus 2 times da da da, and then we have the 3, 2, 1, like this. And we still have to continue with the n minus 2 factorial. So uh, you see, we will just multiply by n minus 2, da da da, 3, 2, 1, like this. And of course, we have the 3 factorials, 2 factorial, and also the one factorial, so you just see a lot of dots and a lot of numbers. Whew, so it's like a little triangle like this, right? So that's pretty cool. Now, let's look at h of n, namely the hyperfactorial. First thing first, we start with n to the n. That means what? n times n times n, n of them, right? So what I'm going to do is I will put down this right here. We will have to do n times n times n times da da da. So we have put down like this, da da da, like this, okay? And we have n of this right here. Next, we have n minus 1 to the n minus 1. Well, we can fill in the gaps right here. So we multiply by n minus 1, and we have to do it n minus 1 times. So this is the first, and then we have the next one, n minus 1, and then da da da, and then we have the n minus 1, like this. Similarly, we have the n minus 2, so it's just, you see the pattern, huh? Hopefully. And then we have all this n minus 2. And you see, we can actually create a very nice rectangle. So, in the end, what do we see? We have how many n's? This is total of n plus 1 n's, because remember, this is n n's. And we have one more, so it's n plus 1 n's. So this right here is n to the n uh, plus 1. Similarly, from here to here, it is also to the n plus 1 power, so we multiply by 
n minus 1 for the base raised to the n plus 1 power, and likewise for this, which is n minus 2 times uh, raised to the n plus 1 power, and so on, so on, so on, and we have 3 to the n minus 1 power, n plus 1 power, and then 2 n plus 1 power, and 1 to the n plus 1 power, and all that. Everybody has the same power, namely n plus 1, so altogether we can just put everything inside. And if you see everything right here, if you put it in sign for parentheses, this right here is nicely equal to just uh, n factorial. Yes, so you have n factorial in the parentheses, so if you look at all the red parts right here, right? All the red parts together, they will give you the n factorial, and don't forget you raise that to the n plus 1's power. So, as you can see, when you multiply the superfactorial and the hyperfactorial, you end up with m factorial in your parentheses, and then you raise that to the m plus 1 power like this, right? I'm, I'm sorry, just want to make sure you guys can see, okay? Hey, do you want to learn more math? If so, then check out Brilliant.Work. This right here is a math and science website that focuses on problem solving. As you can see, not only they have daily challenges for you guys, but also they have over 50 interactive courses, including probability, math contests, geometry, and also differential equation. And all of their courses are carefully and interestingly designed, so you guys won't be bored. One thing I like about Brain is that they really walk you through each and every concept. So as you can see, this right here is about the misconceptions in probability. And this is the famous Monty Hope question. And here we have the Russian roulette question. And here is the boy and girl paradox. And for the people who have not done probability before, this is a great way for you to really start learning. And if you'd like to give Brilliant a try, you can use the link in the description, brilliant.work slash blackprintrepent. This way you can get a 20% off discount to the annual premium subscription so that you can get the access to all of their courses. So here is just the other version of the super factorial. And as I said earlier, this is done by Pickover and in the same year, 1995. So here we go. In fact, we have the same notation for that as well. So we have n with a dollar sign. But in this case, this is going to be even crazier than any of that. So check this out. When we have this version of the super factorial, what we do is we do n factorial and then we do the up arrow, two of them. So this means the titration, okay? And then n factorial like this. So what exactly do we mean? Well, here is your base, so you have n factorial to start with. And this right here is the height, and the double up arrow means you just build out the power. So you have n factorial raised to the n factorial raised to the n factorial da 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 raised to the n factorial power like this. Well, what's the height? Again, the height is n factorial. So I'll just say the height is n factorial. And this is just crazy, okay? So let me give you guys a quick example so you guys can see. Uh, let's see 3 with a dollar sign like this. $3 is really small, but $3 sign. Man, I don't know how to compute this anyway. Check this out. Three dollar sign means we have to do three factorial and then double up arrow. So I'll just put down up, up like this, and then three factorial, okay? As we all know, three factorial is just three times two times one, which is six. So this means six double up arrows, and we have another six right here. Well, this six means we have the base, and this six we just have to do six to the six to the six to the six to the six. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, and then one more, six, like that, for the power. So, this right here, you see that the height is equal to six. I don't even know what six to a six power is, so don't ask me, like, what six to a 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 six power, right? So, this is just crazy and for the people who like the big numbers uh yeah you definitely should look up the super factorial the hyper factorial and also this version of the super factorial the dollar sign matters and as always that's it